As a footballer, there was none better than O.J. Simpson. As a human being, many would argue there aren't too many worse. It's 22 years since Simpson was famously charged with murdering his former wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ron Goldman. The court case, an eight-month spectacle, fuelled by the public's obsession with celebrity, ended with the jury's not guilty verdict. A civil court later found Simpson was liable for the deaths and ordered him to pay more than $30 million in compensation. In 2008, O.J. Simpson was jailed for 33 years after a botched armed robbery in Las Vegas. It's likely he'll be paroled next year. But the story of this one-time American hero is now Hollywood fodder. And for the victims' families, it's a story that only continues to haunt them. It's 6.30 in the morning, and I get awakened to this horrific scream. Like, I can't even, I can't even explain it. Tanya Brown was just 24 years old when her family's world fell apart. And I saw my mom um, sitting at the kitchen table, white, just like her soul was just taken away. The family had just received a call to tell them her older sister, Nicole, had been viciously stabbed to death. I went to the bathroom and there was my dad with the, um, his head on his forehead and he was just pounding the sink. And I said, Daddy, is it true? Is she dead? And he went, yeah. And from then on, it was just everything changed. Everything changed. 35-year-old Nicole Brown Simpson, the former wife of NFL star O.J. Simpson, and her friend Ron Goldman were found dead outside her home. Their brutal murders became instant news. The thing that struck me is how horrific it must have been uh, to, to see this on television. Oh, yeah. I just remember standing in the living room and my mom and I, we were holding hands and there was Nicole's body covered by a sheet. All I heard was my mom, she, she squeezed my hand and she said, that's my kid. What followed was this. O.J. Simpson tried for the murders in a court case that divided a nation and captivated the world. Mr. Uh, Simpson, would you please stand and face the jury? An extraordinary eight month long trial that ended with Simpson's acquittal. We, the jury, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187. Watched a live on television by hundreds of millions of people. Of murder in the first degree or second degree to be not true. Oh, my Do you remember that day? Oh, yeah. I was just sitting there, that, that anxiety just in my chest, in my stomach, and sweaty hands. I remember sitting on the edge of the, the seat just going like this, just... <sighs> I couldn't breathe. O.J. Simpson was the all-American hero, the football star turned actor. Hi, buddy became a trusted public face. When he and Nicole married... And she turned those years into some of the best years I've had in my life, babe. They were the glamorous celebrity couple, and with their children, a perfect family. But what many didn't know was that O.J. Simpson had been repeatedly beating his wife. And I want emergency Can you get someone over here now to 325 Gretna Green? He's back. And even after they divorced, it didn't stop. Please. Well, OK, what does he look like? He's O.J. Simpson. This frantic emergency call made by Nicole just eight months before her murder. You're going to hear him in a minute. He's about to come in again. Hey, just stay on the line. I don't want to stay on the line. He's going to beat the shit. Wait a minute. What is he doing there? He just drove up again. He just, <laughs> just drove up over. Hey, wait a minute. What kind of car is he in? He's in a white Bronco. But first of all, he broke the back door down to get in. Before. Okay. Wait a minute. What's your name? Nicole Simpson. Okay. Is he the sportscaster or whatever? Yeah. 
You had your fingers around her throat, correct? Uh, I could have touched her neck, yes. At the civil trial brought against him by the victim's families, O.J. Simpson disputed punching his wife, but admitted to being violent. And you never hurt your wife either, correct? No, I hurt my wife, yes. You never struck her with your hands, correct? I never punched her, yes. Did you ever strike her? No. Did you ever hurt her? Yes. Did you ever physically hurt her? Yes. Did you ever bruise her? Yes. Did you ever make her black and blue? When you reflect now, what kind of life did your sister actually live? Um... My sister was treated like a circus animal on many occasions, but she hit it so well. You said she was a prisoner. Mm -hmm. She was a prison. She was in her own prison. Um, I know we're talking about your sister, but what about Ron Goldman? Do you think about all the time? You know, and I'm glad you raised that because domestic violence doesn't just affect the victim. You know, we. I mean, look at Ron. He was an innocent bystander. What many believe was a case of vicious domestic violence is now Hollywood entertainment. The O.J. Simpson story is an industry. All right. He's a black man being haunted by the police. And 22 years later... I can't go to jail, boss. TV shows and documentaries about him are more popular than ever. Bronco's gone. The latest offering features Simpson's manager, close friend and confidant, Mike Gilbert. What did you love about O.J.? His kindness, his um, being approachable by, to the fans. For almost 20 years, Mike Gilbert's job was to build upon and protect the football hero's public image. What did America love about him? He was a, he was a hero that knew what it meant to be a hero. Was he also the black man who conquered the white world? Oh, absolutely. You know, I think back before OJ, there had never been a black person that was a national spokesperson. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. But at the time of the trial, racial tension was bubbling over in Los Angeles. Many believe it contributed to O.J. Simpson's favorable outcome. James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of penal code section. But this horrific moment in history, Mike Gilbert says, might have been prevented if many had stepped up, including him. You said you never particularly liked Nicole and she didn't particularly like you. She was a player's wife. My job was to take the player away from the family, uh, speaking engagements, endorsements. Uh, Nicole wanted O.J. to be home, be with the kids. Be a, she wanted a family. And I couldn't see that. I couldn't identify with that because I'm, my task is make money for my client. So she was an impediment. Absolutely. I didn't dislike her. I, did, I, I disliked that she was a competitor of mine. Um, it's Coke and Pepsi, you know, it's like, you're my competitor. Look, in just moments, the instant return computer prints out your receipt. OJ's fame and fortune, Mike Gilbert claims, clouded everyone's judgment about the domestic violence many knew of or suspected. OJ pulled the knife across Nicole's throat, but everybody that sent her back, everybody that didn't, you know, just pull her out, everybody contributed. Everybody all, who didn't speak to O.J. We're all guilty. We're all guilty for June 12th. O.J. is the guy that went to trial. But you know what? In all of our hearts and all of our minds, we all know that we helped. O.J. Simpson was a, a sociopathic gentleman. He had to have control of everything. The last person to see O.J. Simpson before the murders was Cato Kalin. Even though he was a friend of Nicole, he was staying in O.J.'s guest house and on that night shared a meal with his star landlord. He said he was going to get something to eat and I invited myself. And I could see by his reaction that he wasn't too happy about me inviting myself. And I, I, there was just a very, very long pause. And then he said, OK, you, you can go. You can come along. You're, you're one of the few people to see him prior to the murders and 
get a sense of how he was in those pivotal hours beforehand. Right. How would you have summed him up at that point? He was a man in thought, and he seemed very sad. Uh, there was no dialogue. He just looked like he would be staring off in space, one of these looks while he's driving. He definitely was in thought, and something just wasn't right. Cato Kalin was a witness for the prosecution, giving evidence about what he saw and heard on the night. Can you demonstrate for us how loud it was? Somewhat, yes. Go ahead. Here. Yeah, go ahead. But the trial saw him mocked and humiliated in the media. He became a punchline, dubbed a freeloader, a ditz, and the pool boy. Well, it became a show, a spectacle. It became a soap opera. It became a soap opera with characters, and everybody had their characters. And what was your character? My character was comic relief. Did you know where he was at 9.45? No. Did you see the defendant at 9.50? No. Did you see the defendant at 10.45? No. Did you see the defendant at 10.50? No. All these years later, he remains deeply affected by the case. Does it haunt you, those few hours? It haunts me, yeah, it haunts me very much. It's been almost 22 years. If I, the woman that I date, anytime I drop her off, I make sure that I know exactly what was on the radio at a certain time. I make sure that I see a car that I write down, I saw this car at uh, 11, 12. Everything I revolve around time, and so I know exactly where I am if everything, anything else would happen in my life. It's, it, it's, it's very bizarre, and it's a terrible way to live, and that's what I do. The vehicle is registered to Al Cowling, a former teammate, close friend of O.J. Simpson's, who has been a fugitive from justice now almost 12 hours. Of all the images during what was dubbed the trial of the century, it is the vision of this white bronco Again, this that most remember. It, it, it's apparent that the police believe it. Well, and it's that not is great. Cowling's car, and, and that Simpson is in the driver's seat. We've received a report of a gun in the car. The car is heading Three north. days after the murders, O.J. Simpson, now a wanted County. man, led authorities on a low-speed police chase along a Los Angeles freeway. The bronco was driven by O.J.'s friend, A.C. Cowling's. Right now we are, we are okay, but you got to tell the police to just back off. He's still alive, but he's got a gun to his head. And every moment was carried live on television. Seems to know they've been recognized. And he like stared us down like he was dead. In fact, they said that it is the second most viewed vehicle in world history behind the car that President Kennedy was assassinated in. I believe that. I think the world was glued to this Bronco. Today, the infamous white Bronco is owned by Mike Gilbert. A lot of truth, it seems, now might have been going on inside this Bronco. Absolutely. AC seemed to know much more than he ever let on. Oh, he knew. He knew. And he uh, knew, in your opinion, that OJ was guilty. Oh, yeah, we, we knew. Cowlings had driven OJ to Nicole's gravesite, where it was claimed he was going to commit suicide. But OJ didn't and he was now heading home, armed with a gun and still threatening to kill himself. Not a high-speed pursuit. The Bronco chase? Mm -hmm. Your dad actually tried to talk OJ into not committing right? suicide. Yeah. What an incredibly generous position to take. That's how I was raised. I'm a... I'm a blessed girl. Hmm. Count one, conspiracy to commit a crime. Guilty. Count two, conspiracy to commit kidnapping. Guilty. Count three, conspiracy to commit More than a decade Guilty. later, the O.J. Simpson story Guilty. took Guilty. another twist. Here, CCTV Vision captures him entering a Las Vegas hotel to steal what he claims was his own sports memorabilia. Simpson was given a hefty 33 years prison sentence seen by many as justice overdue. Do you think he will ever make an admission? I believe that O.J. Simpson will make an admission, uh, but I think that he'll prob probably come clean on, on uh, his, near his deathbed. Hollywood may make him an incredible offer, and he may be crazy enough to take the offer. Hollywood. Yeah, it's Hollywood. <laughs>
OJ Simpson is expected to be released on parole next year. It may be the final chapter in a shocking and violent real-life story hijacked by Hollywood. What do you think OJ Simpson is feeling? He doesn't. So even as he sits in his jail today, he doesn't hoping feel. to be paroled, he, he's not reflecting? Probably not. He's not thinking with regret? No. He didn't he, do anything wrong. He's still in denial? Probably. Hello, I'm Dimity Clancy. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minute segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on ninenow.com.au and the Nine Now app.